Hey guys, this is Dow Phoenix, and for today on what I'm playing, we're checking out Batman Arkham Asylum, a well praised and celebrated Batman game that I unfortunately never fully saw through. This was a game that I had played several times, and I would get to about the quarter to 30% mark of the game and then I would just stop playing unfortunately and it's a shame because this game's actually really good um, and I'm finally allowing myself a chance to fully experience the game for what it is so this game is brought to us by Rocksteady which we all know from making these Batman games because they've done such an excellent job in multiple ways with Batman. Obviously not just doing a really good job with Batman as a character and Batman as a, you know, story. You know, getting everything right with the characters and the art style and storyline and everything like that. But the fact is that they also made a really good video game, uh, more or less. So you don't even have to really be a Batman fan to get a lot of enjoyment out of this game there is a lot to offer up here uh, essentially the best way i can describe this game is it's a 3d open world metroidvania type game because you're doing a lot of backtracking you're getting new powers you're kind of doing a lot of back and forth action here and then you're kind of owning things up once you get through that I got a dodgy stupid poison ball things which i'm actually running into instead Fantastic. Let's go ahead and punch that pod and get rid of it here. So I'm more than halfway through the game at this point. I would say I'm probably about two-thirds or so through the game at this phase. It, the completion rating says 52% or something like that. But you know that oftentimes includes optional content and things like that. So it's not going to really count that stuff. So anyways... This game has a lot of the characters that you expect from the Batman universe, of course, like Joker, Poison Ivy, Bane, and so on. There are a lot of characters. Scarecrow, of course, is in this game. Actually, Scarecrow has some of the coolest bits in the game. Uh, it's really well done how they do the whole Scarecrow thing. But anyways, you're playing as Batman, and oftentimes when it comes to Batman video games, it's a typical action fest you know like it's your stereotypical let's go ahead and just have a bunch of action fest and nothing's wrong with that of course you know those games play just fine but they don't really capture the essence of batman if you know what i mean because batman is a lot about a lot more than just beating up henchmen and defeating bad guys and taking them to jail and stuff like that you know he's about a lot more than that and this game really does a good job of handling that because you have modes such as your detective mode of course which allows you to get a lot of intel about what's going on you get a lot of information about enemies and you can also even investigate clues as to what's going on so there's segments in the game where you have to kind of figure out certain things and you can go into that detective mode to uh, kind of pinpoint the solution to whatever quandary you have and that, of course, helps you to, you know, progress through the game and so on. And it's just a lot of fun as far as that's concerned. Not to mention this game has held up extremely well for a last generation title. You know, there's not a lot of games from 2009 that uh, I really want to go back to. But this is definitely a game that I want to go back to. This is a really good game. And I kind of feel bad that I did not really see it through back in the day because I really was missing out. And I kind of feel you guys are too if you haven't played this game before. So I highly recommend it. I'd like to get into some combat here um, to show that segment of the game. But the combat system is actually really neat. I might have to possibly skip ahead a little bit if I don't get into any combat soon. Uh, so where can I actually go? Not bad. Let's actually go over this way. And, you know, because we gotta get our Riddler trophies, of course. But also we gotta get out of this sewer area that we're currently stuck in. I think we might be getting to 
action very soon because I'm hearing the Joker kind of talking to some guys or or I guess his henchmen probably more likely but you're definitely gonna get something there it is um I think I can actually get through that uh let me take a look here yeah I'm this I'm completely fresh this area I probably should have did a little backtracking and showed you guys stuff here uh let's see i got the ultra back claw oh yes that's what i gotta do yeah i just recently got that that's my problem there obviously you gotta use the new toy that i just recently got in order to progress that makes a lot of sense so we'll go ahead and pull all three of those bad guys out why not that's fantastic and can we launch up there now or yeah there we go so hopefully we'll run into some henchmen. I can show you guys the really smooth combat system. So the combat system is very timing based. And right now, obviously, when you're fighting just one enemy, you're not really getting a vibe for it. The very simple combat system, you have like one or two attack buttons. You have a button to defend. You have your option to dodge. But it just flows really well, everything that goes through in that combat system. You can effortlessly beat up a whole bunch of guys, and it just looks really cool. You know, everything flows in a fantastic way. I guess the best way to describe this combat system for anybody that's ever played, like, say, the Assassin's Creed games, it's kind of like an evolution of the formula that we had from Assassin's Creed, because Assassin's Creed sort of has... A system like this though not nearly to the same degree you know it's supposed to hit L the left tr or right trigger or whatever and B at the same time I think to do the uh, ground attack but I obviously wasn't doing that and of course I praised the combat system while looking really crappy at it simultaneously so that's my mistake but you know despite how bad my gameplay is of this game I highly recommend checking out Batman Arkham Asylum if you never have for some reason especially if you're a Batman fan I mean I, that's a no that's a no-brainer there although if you're a Batman fan you've probably already played this game anyways but if for some reason you haven't definitely check it out uh, this definitely measures very well to the Batman comic book mythos and you know of course you got like the uh, I think it might be left bumper Left bumper, I don't know. Oh shoot, I got a freaking gun guy. Okay, I probably should have used my, uh, yeah, my mode here so that I could actually tell that they're gonna shoot me up here. We'll let them kill me here because I'm pretty much dead as it is anyways. And uh, this time we will approach it properly like you're supposed to because this game also has elements of stealth, but it does it in a really good way. Like, it is very rewarding as far as stealth games go. So I need to start up by going up here so that they don't just see me. Of course, I can duck and, and climb up on these gargoyles right here. The duck button's kind of weird because it's the right trigger. It's not really the most elegant ducking system. Sad to say, but, uh, but it, I guess it works. Supposable. So you have to kind of approach things in a lot of different ways. You have a lot of information actually about the enemies. You get a information on their st status and everything like that, of course. And uh, you know, obviously, for some reason, they're too dumb. To tell that I, uh, yeah, I could do this inverted takedown, which is really cool. So they can see me now. But I can kind of run off real quick, and uh, that should lose our trail for a bit. Did the dirty deed against the baddies here. So, we got one of these guys dispatched. I just need to uh, try to keep them separated. You know, just like the offspring would do. You got to keep them separated. Uh, let's see. Go ahead and... Trying to, yeah, trying to get them in a good spot. I can get over here and do the bird to take down of him real quick. Or not, great, but barely missed out on that. Uh, let's see. 
there anybody else I can attack safely? I don't know, man. This is a tricky one for sure. I don't have a lot of safe attack options here. I have to separate them. They're all paired up in sets of two, which is not good. Not gonna stand a lot of chance, but they are split up there just now. But it won't let me. It won't let me do the kick for some reason. Now it will. Oh, that's not good. Okay, drop, Batman, drop. Okay, we gotta do our silent takedown on this guy. And maybe I can create a little distraction to kind of pull around with him. So we'll go ahead and get our explosive gel. Yeah, that didn't work out. Okay, gotta run, gotta run. Knock him out real quick. Yeah. And then we'll just... Yeah, we'll get the heck out of Dodge, you know. Because those guys are on my butt. <laughs> Due to my really poor attempted stealth here. But maybe I can... Ultra Bat Claw. No, it's... Does that work? No, I guess I don't have the right angle to... Sucks. I'm going to try to play this encounter out at least. Hopefully... I attack him. No, apparently he is... Alright, let me go through here. And... See if we can approach it in a different way from what we were doing here. Is I, I didn't approach things good the first time. That much I can recognize. But I can make a nice little uh, thing going on here. We could just use our explosive gel. Go ahead and do a little explosive explosive. But this might actually take the ultra back claw. I don't know. Uh, let's go ahead and get in there, though. All right. Didn't really seem to face them. Hmm. But that guy is coming. I can get in a sneak attack, I suppose. Yeah. If. If I can, that is. Perfect. So we got three guys, or four guys knocked out. We got one, three more to go. So we're almost there. I'm surviving this after all, apparently. <laughs> Alright. Now they're starting to freak out a little bit. Now I'm starting to gain an advantage on them. Wait, okay. Pipe observation. Okay. So they're coming. They are going to try to do their best. Stop them. I think now might be a good time. Great, that didn't work out very good at all. Yeah, that that complete fail. <laughs> uh, so that did not approach things well at all there. But you guys kind of get the gist of the game now, I hope. And uh, I want to know what your comments are about this game, what you thought about it. But uh, till then, down Phoenix out.